The story of Jesus being born in Bethlehem to a virgin mother is almost certainly a secondary addition to the Christian tradition. Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion, and we don't find any mention of Bethlehem or a virgin birth anywhere in the earliest Christian literature, specifically the letters of Paul or the Gospel of Mark. It first pops up in the Gospel of Matthew, coming from around 80 CE or later, and then an even more developed story is found in the Gospel of Luke. But Jesus was known to be of Nazareth. So both of these Gospels had to come up with a story that gets Jesus' mother to Bethlehem so that he could be born. And this was probably part of an attempt to show that Jesus fulfills all of these Hebrew Bible prophecies about the Messiah, things that aren't really addressed in the letters of Paul or Mark, at least when it comes to Jesus' birth. And contemplation on Jesus' origins probably also led to the idea of a virgin birth, since the early followers of Jesus were overwhelmingly Greco-Roman Jewish folks and then Greek folks who were all influenced by Greek philosophical traditions, many of which held sexual activity and sexual desire to be a function of the baser flesh. And so not to be divine, but to be, in many cases, sinful. And so having Jesus being born of a virgin mother responds to probably growing concern there. And it was probably helped along by an interpretation of the Greek translation of Isaiah 7.14, which rendered the Hebrew Alma, young woman, with the Greek Parthenos, virgin. Now, the translators of the Septuagint probably were not theologically motivated in that choice, as Rodrigo de Souza has argued in this 2008 paper. So it was probably followers of Jesus who innovated that interpretation as they were contemplating Jesus' origins. So none of this is found in the letters of Paul or in the Gospel of Mark. It pops up with the Gospel of Matthew toward the end of the first century CE and almost certainly as a secondary addition to the Christian tradition to respond to growing concerns. And the fit for this video has been DuckTales, a woohoo!